Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part seven. In that we are going to do the chapter endings. So what I have done, all the questions whatever are there in the chapter endings, I have pasted over here so that it becomes easier. Because sometimes you don't watch the video till the last. So here you get the idea of the questions what are there in this video. So watch till the last. So because these are all the important ones because this is the chapter ending of it. So we'll start with the first question. State whether the following statements are true or false. So in the first one, all rectangles are parallelograms. So this is true because they in the parallelograms because opposite sides that are they are parallel and they are also equal in length like the both of them they are the same they are parallel and they are in equal length so this is true all squares are rhombuses so this also is true because all squares because they are all have sides of equal length which is also a property of a rhombus so all parallelograms are rectangles this is false because we cannot say all the parallelograms are rectangles because rectangles are a type of parallelogram with right angles and these parallelograms may have this they have the uh, the this one angles but they are not 90 degrees so all parallelograms are not rectangles all parallelograms are trapeziums so this also is false because this the trapezium is a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides but here in parallelogram we have two pairs of parallel, uh, this one, opposite sides. So this is false. All the rhombuses are rectangles. So this also is false. Because this uh, rhombus is a quadrilateral, so all sides have equal length, but the angles are not 90 degree. So this is false. An isosceles triangle is a regular polygon. So this also is false. Here the regular polygon is a polygon where all sides and angles are equal. And the isosceles triangle has two sides of equal length. And the third side is not equal. This one equal is not of the same length. So this is false. The sum of exterior angles of a four-sided polygon is 360. So this is true. So the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is always 360 degree. Identify the following quadrilaterals. Here all the sides are equal and one of the angles is 90 degree. So all the sides are equal means this is going to be a square and this is also going to be all the angles are 90 degree. Two, two of the sides are parallel. So now you can see the trapezium. This will be trapezium this and this is parallel. All the angles are equal, but the adjacent sides are not equal. So now see here in the right angle, all this one, all angles are equal, but the adjacent sides, they are not equal. So it is a rectangle. So diagonals are equal in length. So in the diagonals are equal in length, where we can see the diagonals are equal. Now see here, this is a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. Again in the square, the diagonals are equal so we can say rectangle or square both pairs of opposite sides are equal so both sides of opposite in the rectangle or the parallelogram Di diagonals bisect each other so where are they in parallelogram the diagonals are bisecting each other again in the rectangle the diagonals are bisecting each other square also the same rhombus also the same now here diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other so here in the rhombus and the square, they are the perpendicular bisector of each other. In figure ABCD is a parallelogram. This is the figure given. And you have to find the values of x, y, and z. So now see here this x and this y, and then we have to find out for z. So now what we can see here, this is a parallelogram. So now we have given here, this is 50 degree. So this side, of this one, the angle, sorry, the opposite is here, this is y. So this also should be y. So we can write here angle C is equal to angle A is equal to angle C is equal to that is y and that is 50 degree y since opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. Then we can see here we will take this triangle. 
now we know this angle and we know this angle so we can find out x with this one so we'll turn here to angle dcb so here what we can do 45 plus y plus x that is 180 that is sum of angles in a triangle is 180 so 45 you know now y is 50 and this x is equal to 180 180 this will be 95 plus x will be 180 so x is going to be 180 minus 95 that will be x will be 85 so now we have to find out z so now see these are the parallel sides so what we can say this one 3z is equal to 4z minus 15 by 7 so 4z is 4z minus 15 because opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so now we will bring this y uh, sorry z on this side so it will be minus 4z is equal to minus 15 by 7 so 3z minus 4z is going to be minus z is minus 15 by 7. Both the places is negative sign. So we can cancel out or we can write here z will be minus 15 by 7 divided by this actually here is 1 minus 1. So whenever the minus divided by minus is going to be plus. So that will be z is 15 by 7. So x is 85, y is 50 degree and z is 15 by 7. ABCD is a parallelogram and a pair of adjacent angles is in the ratio 1 is to 2. Find all the angles. So let the two adjacent angles be. Now see 1 is to 2 means 1 into x will be x and this will be 2x. So x plus 2x is 180 because here they said the adjacent angles. So since adjacent angles in the parallelogram are supplementary. Supplementary means 180. So this is going to be 3x is 180. So x will be 180 divided by 3. So x is going to be 60 degree. So now we want for 2x. 2x will be 2 into 60. That will be 120 degree. So we can say the angles of the parallelogram are 60, 120. Again, two times we are going to write the same 60, 120. The diagonals of a rhombus are 10 centimeter and 24 centimeter. Find the length of one side of the rhombus. So now here this is a rhombus. So in this one, what we can say the diagonals bisect each other. So now we will take this the this the bisect uh, by uh, this one the diagonals bisect each other so what we can see here now this is 10 centimeters suppose this diagonal and this is 24 centimeter so half of this 10 is going to be 10 by 2 and the half of this 24 is going to be 12. this is going to be 5 and this is going to be 12. so this will be 5 centimeter this will be 12 centimeter so now this is a what we can see so the side of the rhombus that is nothing but that is the hypotenuse of right angle triangle. So now we will take the with the help of the Pythagoras we can take side square is we have we got here the side this one as 5 square and 5 and 12 that we can take as 5 square plus 12 square. So side square will be 25 plus this 144. So side square will be 169. So when you square both sides so we can get here side will be root of 169 that is going to be 13 centimeter. So we can say length of one side of the rhombus is 13 centimeter. In a parallelogram ABCD, AB is equal to x plus 7 centimeter and CD is equal to 2x minus 5 centimeter. You have to find out AB. So now here in the parallelogram AB is equal to this and we have to find B, uh, AB. So what we can see here, because in the parallelogram the opposite sides, now suppose we are taking this one A, B and this CD. So the, you know this opposite sides in a, this are equal. So now what you can see here, AB will be equal to CD. So we can consider this AB is equal to CD since opposite sides in the parallelogram are equal. So now what you can see since this one opposite sides are equal, so you can see AB is equal to CD that will be X plus 7 is equal to 2X minus 5. So you can write here X plus 7 is equal to 2X minus 5. So X is here, this will go here minus 2X minus 5 plus 7 become minus 7. So this will be 1 minus 2 will be minus x minus 12. So both the sides negative means that becomes positive x is equal to 12. So now we have ab as x plus 7. So in place of x we will put here 12 plus 7 that is going to be 19 and that's what they have asked the what is ab. So ab is 19 centimeter. Now here abcd is a trapezium and ab is no, sorry, this is parallel to CD. If angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 45, find the measure of angle C and angle D. So now this roughly I have drawn the trapezium here. So since they said AB is parallel to CD, so this AB will be here and CD we can write here because these both are parallel here. So now the angle A is given as 45. So now this is given as 45. So what we can say here, 
this also will be 45 degree c also should be 45 because a is equal to m here This, this is sorry this a is given here and this b is given this also is given as 45 and this uh, this is given as a b is parallel to c d so what we can see here this one angle a plus angle d so first thing because we want to find out angle c and angle d so what we can see here because these two are the adjacent ones so this is 45 so adjacent means here both of them should be when we take the sum of that that should be 180 degree so what we will do here, we will take uh, these are the given things. So angle A plus angle D is 180 degree. Since what we can write the reason, angle A and angle D, these both are on the same side, that is the adjacent one. So here we have this one, angle A is 45. And here, and we don't know angle D, that is why 180. So angle D will be 180 minus 45, that is going to be 135. So now again what we can see this one, this two, angle B and angle C. So angle B is given as 45. So this angle one, again we can see that is again, since angle B and angle C on the same side. So this will be, so angle C is going to be 180 minus 45, that will be 135. So we can say angle C is equal to 135 and angle D is going to be 135. So here in this one, whenever there is a trapezium, these both angles are going to be the same, what we can say, and these both angles are going to be the same. And in a parallelogram, what we can see, this will be equal to this one. And this is the adjacent side. So then if it is a trapezium, these both are going to be same, and these are going to be equal. This and this will be equal. This and this is going to be equal. So you can, you can see here, so angle C is going to be 135, and angle D also is going to be 130. Five. Two angles of a rhombus side in the rhombus side in the ratio of a rhombus side in the ratio two is to three. Find the angles of the rhombus. So now let two adjacent angles be. So this is two is to three means into x here. So that will be two x and three x. So now two x plus three x is one eighty because adjacent adjacent angles here they are supplementary means one eighty. So this is going to be 5, x will be 180. So x is going to be 180 divided by, because this is multiplication, it will get divided. That will be 5. So x will be 36. When you divide it, you can see that is 36. <coughs> so here, 2x is going to be 2 into 36. That is going to be 72 degree. And 3x is going to be 3 into 36. That is going to be 108 degrees. So for that, the angles, we want the, angles of the rhombus so the angles of the rhombus are that will be 72108 again 72108 so these are the four angles in the trape trapezium abcd angle a is to angle d is equal to 7 is to 2 and angle b is to angle c is equal to 4 is to 5 find the angles of the trapezium so now we can say let angle this will be we are going to multiply by x so angle this will be 7x this is going to be 2x again here is going to be your multiplied 4x and this c is going to be 5x so angle a is going to be 7x and d is 2x so what we can say angle a plus angle d because that is a trapezium so that is adjacent angles are supplementary so we can say here this is a b C D. So angle A plus this one, angle D. So that is going to be 180 because adjacent angles are supplementary. And now we are going to put this one. Angle A is 7x, D is 2x. That is 180. So this will be 9x will be 180. So x is going to be 180 divided by 9. So x will be 20. Again, here what we can do here, we want the angle A. Angle A is 7x. So 7 into this we get put this one as 20 that will be 140 and angle d is 2x that is 2 into 20 that is going to be 40 so also what we can see angle b because the other this ratio is given as b and c so angle b is 4x and angle c is 5x so angle b plus angle c again same thing is 180 adjacent angles are supplementary 
this 4x, this 5x, that is 180. This will be 9x, that is 180. So x is going to be 180 divided by 9, that will be 20. So what you can write here, angle B is equal to 4x, that 4 into 20, that will be 80. And angle C is 5x, that is 5 into 20, that is 100. So we can write here, angle A is 140, angle B is 80, angle C is 100, and angle D is 40. ABCD is a rectangle, and then O is the midpoint, O is the point, sorry, of the intersection of the diagonals. And O is equidistant from ABC. And is this true? So we have to explain. So we can say this is true. How? We have to explain that one. In the rectangle, because they said ABCD is a rectangle, O is the point of intersection of the diagonals. Now see here, this is a rectangle. So these are the diagonals. And this O is the, here, yeah, O. This is the intersection of the diagonals. So O is equidistance from ABC. So you can see here, these are the equal distance. So this is clear, but we have to write the explanation. So in a rectangle, diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other at right angles. So here they bisect each other at right angles and diagonals intersect at the midpoint. So point O is the point of intersection. And since diagonals bisect each other and are equal in length, the intersection point O lies exactly at the center of the rectangle. So you can write in your own words this one. And also you can write here the center of the rectangle is equidistance from all sides. Right? You can explain this in your own words. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts.